for the Marlins. It is Jesus Luzardo acquired from the Oakland A's last week at the deadline. He's got uh, a big time arm. Obviously the numbers this year are not where he'd like. Back to the mound. Luzardo fields throws to first and there's one away. Now number one job well done getting off the mound. Two and two to the big burly Mets first baseman. Alonzo swings and misses at a changeup. There's two outs. Ground ball to first. Aguilar takes it himself, and it's a one, two, three, first, first inning for Jesus Luzardo. McGill, his last start against Atlanta went five and a third, only gave up an earned run. That's kind of been the way McGill has operated so far. And against his slider, four for 33 opposing hitters this year. This is a great count right here. Hopefully, Miguel, they tried to go in three or two oh. And the pitch is grounded through the right side and the base hit. Drury picks it up in right field. Chisholm's flying around second base. Runners on the corners with nobody out for the Marlins here in the first inning. First and third. Nobody out. Jesus Aguilar up. One, two. And catcher's interference. Base is loaded. Nobody out. No score. Bottom of the first inning. Here's Lewis Brinson. 2-1, Brinson hammers one right field, going back, Drury still going back, looking up, out of here! A grand slam for Lewis Brinson, it's his fourth home run of the season, and the Marlins have a 4-0 lead in the first. Fastball, center cut, thigh high, drives it out to right, 4-0 Marlins here in the first. We always say the guy who's hitting fourth is cleaning up, but he just did. And J.D. lines one into center field for a base hit. Around second, Baez, he'll go on to third as Sierra gets it in. So J.D. Davis does take advantage with the positive count. Snaps his 0 for 12 stretch. As the Mets have runners on first and third. Nobody out, and now Dominic Smith will bat. That gets away. Here comes Baez from third, and he will score the first Mets run of the day. Two down. Davis still at second, and now the batter will be Brandon Drury. The old one pitch. Drury lines toward left. That's a base hit. Around third, Davis will score. Drury heads toward second base as Brinson fires it in. The throw is close, and it is not in time. Drury diving in has an RBI double. The Mets have gotten two back here in the second, and Brandon Drury continues to be red hot. And Sierra pops one up. Who wants it? Javi does. One out. And there's strike three called, so McGill makes quick work of Lozardo. With Chisholm still at first, he hasn't made any kind of move. Now he's running. The pitch low and away, swung and missed for strike three. Alonzo struck out his first time up. And Alonzo rifles one deep left field, looking up as Brinson. It's out of here! Pete Alonzo with a line drive home run. Number 24 for Pete. And it gets the Mets to within one run. It's now four to three. What a bullet. It doesn't matter if he gets him in the air or line drives. If he covers a baseball because of his strength, Yushi's going to end up over the wall. Well, Javi Baez is up. He swings at a pitch out of the strike zone and grounds one to Aguilar and his throw on target to Lazardo. And Baez hurts himself on his way to first base. This an athletic trainer comes out. So Baez playing in his third game as a Met. It looked like he was trying to avoid Luzardo as he hit the bag there and took a bad step. And Aguilar way off the plate, away off the base, throws it over. He's in a great place right here, but watch where he tries. Right oh, there. right there. It's you see him grabbing at that left ankle. That's that's the the place that he was having the problem in Chicago. That ankle and heel on his left foot. Well, Javi Baez is going to try and keep going. Looks like he re-injured that. Ankle and heel. And it looks like he exacerbated it on that stumble into first base, but he's going to try and keep going. Brinson at first after the one out single. Isan Diaz batting. Who two is hit toward the gap in right center field. This will be extra bases. Brinson flying around second, heading toward third. He's going to get the green light. Diaz will stop at second with an RBI double. 5 3 Marlins here in the third. So one out base runner now McGill will come up to bunt and pushes the bunt there mm. Aguilar drops it and recovers it quick enough to get the out and McGill is holding his left glute as he goes to first base. I don't know what that's all about that bears watching Tyler McGill appears to be a OK after that odd run to first base. 
Jazz Chisholm pops one up into left field. Has a little carry to it, but Dom Smith should have plenty of room. And that retires the side. First one, two, three inning for Tyler Freeway McGill. 0 2 pitch. That's that slider we've come to know and love. Strikeout number one. Ground ball left side. Isan plays it off to the side, spins and throws and gets Nimmo. So that'll get Alonzo to the plate as a tying run, which is just the way the Mets want him. Pete's already homered once tonight. That came in the third. He had an infield hit in the fifth, so he's two for three. Here's the one two pitch, and it is hit in the air, shallow right field. Playable for Brian De La Cruz. It was a fastball that ran inside. Alonzo hit his off his fists, and the inning is over. Love to see it as Jeff McNeil sends one out for left center field. Brinson moving back, and he'll make the play. And Baez rolls over the slider. Tough play for Diaz. The bare hand too late. And Baez, despite running on that bad heel, able to sprint down to first on that slow roller to beat it out for an infield hit. So two out is left to Dom Smith. Tying run at the plate in a 5-3 game. Dom's 0 for 3 tonight. And he pulls one on the ground through the hole in the right field. A base hit. Baez around second. He'll try to go first to third. The throw coming in is cut off. And the Mets have runners at the corners with two down. And now Drury will bat with the tying run now in scoring position and the potential lead run at first base. Floor deals and a ground ball too short backhanded by Mickey goes the short way and Floro gets out of the mess. Mickey out toward left center field. This is going to get down and one hop the wall. It's going to stay out there, and Mickey's on his way to third, racing in with a triple. So now they're on the corners with nobody out for Lewis Brinson. To third, Baez will go to first. Low throw gets away from Alonso. Aguilar goes to third. Brinson to second. A run scored on the play, six to three. Five RBIs tonight for Brinson. And that's line caught by Baez and everybody else able to get back. Here's Sierra now bases loaded two outs. And Sierra bounces one to McNeil and that retires the side. And Michael gets a slider and pulls it down the line and that'll go into the corner for extra bases. It rattles around for De La Cruz and Conforto pulls in at second base with a leadoff double and the Mets have something going in the ninth. So that leaves the Mets down to their final out with Jeff McNeil coming up. 0 and 1 to McNeil. And Jeff takes one the other way but right at Diaz for the last out of the game. Mets have now lost four of their last five as they're beaten tonight by the Marlins 6 to 3. 